Wow, that's pretty cool walk-on music. Uh, so good morning, everybody. I, I noticed uh, in, the, uh, in the app, I got the title of futurist. So I've never had that title before. So hopefully uh, I'll do a good job at that. Um, so uh, thank you, Hugh, Don, for inviting me here. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to this. This is not an audience I am used to speaking to. So hopefully some of the things I have to say uh, will stimulate your thinking and maybe as I have gotten older myself, my kids thinking uh, about what's ahead for all of us. Um, I titled the talk um, Lessons for Long Life because really uh, uh, what, how I'd like you to think about it is, well, what is going to be long life in your careers, et cetera. And so what I'm gonna do is really break this talk into a couple big parts. Uh, the first part, as we already have discussed, I want to talk a little bit about the Internet of Things. Uh, what does that really mean? Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a technology tutorial uh, and expose you to both what is happening today as well as, I'll say, what I think is huge for the future. Um, after that, I want to talk about what's the implication of all this technology? What's the implication on businesses that I like to say make things, make machines? Um, make combine harvesters, make gene sequencers, and then what's the implication on people that use machines. And then I'm going to finish up by talking a little about well, what's the implication on us, on, the, on people. I'll talk a lot about machines, but I'll talk a little bit about people. I want you to think a little bit about what is the implication on, on people. And then finally, because uh, I, I do teach at Stanford University, I like to give homework, so uh, I'm going to give you a little homework to work on. Um, I have had the privilege, as the introduction said, to kind of live in three worlds almost simultaneously. I did come to Silicon Valley uh, 35 years ago to work for one of the original Kleiner Perkins startups called Tandem Computers, um, and have had a long association with startups in one form or another, including today, actually just this weekend, uh, a company that uh, I helped found with some of my Stanford kids. We just raised about a million and a half in seed money. So. Um, I'm still very active in the, in the startup space. Uh, I've had a long time in, as, uh, in big companies at Oracle. These days I actually serve on a couple corporate boards, including BlackBot, as I know some of you may know who BlackBot is, um, as well as just recently Teradata. And then finally, um, I've had the privilege to teach at Stanford for about 35 years. Uh, in the old days, uh, real stuff, um, computer architecture. These days I created a fluffy seminar class that I teach. Uh, so I don't have to do too much work. I, I do the first and last lecture in between. I have guest lectures. But all my guest lectures are CEOs of public companies. Um, and as my interests have moved into this Internet of Things area, we actually uh, just recently had the vice chairman of General Electric, the CEO of Kaiser, et cetera, in, in, uh, in, in the class. Uh, if you're at all interested in it, it's called CS309A stanford.edu and you can take a look at it. Anyway, um, with that, I'm going to say, hey, I wanted to talk about, oh, I forgot, there's one thing I need to do. Um, so I know, because I do a reasonable amount of this, that people in the audience are looking at me trying to figure out why I look like this, but I talk like this. So uh, I, I grew up in the great state of North Carolina, so even though I've lived in California for a lot of years, if you're hearing any Southern in there, that's where it's coming from. So now you can pay attention, right? <laughs> I have seen people just like look at me and like, you're not paying attention, right? Uh, so I said I wanted to talk about lessons for long life, so I thought I'd start with lessons for long life for your personal life. This is actually taken from a temple in Kyoto, Japan. It's believed to be over 500 years old. It does indeed contain the 10 secrets to long life. So I see you guys are all writing it down. Okay, you don't speak Chinese yet, so I, here's the uh, translation. Uh, you're supposed to eat more vegetables and less meat. You're supposed to have more sleep and less worry, um, more laughter and less anger, and then the one I've always been amused about, which is the more bathing, less clothing. <laughs> I guess if you're a Buddhist monk, there's no television, so you gotta do something to amuse yourself, right? 